New York. What's good guys, today you join me in New York City. Look all around me, Times Square baby. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of exploring today, a lot of photography, going to be seeing as many photo spots as possible and just capturing a lot of photography, a lot of video and I thought it'd be really exciting just to bring you along with me. See what we could capture, see what we could do, but this is gonna be a pretty sick photo shoot. In today's video, I'm also gonna be joined by this guy right here, Kyle. Kyle is gonna be helping me shoot a lot of photography, B-roll. So anything that looks epic of me on screen is shot by this guy right here. Now, Kyle, you also have your YouTube channel, don't you? Yep, yep, it's uh, Kyle Watts. So if you wanna go and watch some really cool content, you're gonna be doing a video on the 17 to 78, a really good wide lens, isn't it? Yep, Absolutely. And that's for the ZV. How do you say it? ZVE10, ZVE10, Z Sony. Yes. Yeah, so I know a few of you guys actually like that camera and have wanted me to make a video on it. I don't have my hands on that camera, but this guy does. He makes amazing reviews. Honestly, go and check him out. Subscribe. Go and check out his Instagram. All linked in the description below. But uh, I think we should get shooting now. All right, so I'm currently outside the Tonight Show host area where they shoot it every single night with Jimmy Fallon. Over here we have Radio City where they host a lot of the awards. And then right above us, there is the Rockefeller Tower. Now, I've had to drag myself away from Times Square because I spent way too much time just shooting photography and video. And there's plenty of time to get a lot more stuff like that. And I think we're going back tonight to do a part of a night POV, which is going to be pretty sick because it looks amazing in the day, it looks amazing, well it's going to look amazing at night, I can feel it already. Uh, but what I'm loving about today so far, in terms of b-roll photography, the light is consistent. It's nice, it's grey, it's overcast, which means I have a nice cushion of light. And it means that a lot of my photographs are just looking really soft, looking really nice, but also have a nice cinematic edge to them as well. Guys, let me show you this. Grand Central Station. I'm gonna get, of course, one of the most typical touristy kind of shots. Now, before we got here, I, I asked Kyle. <laughs> what did I ask you, Kyle? Well, he said, is it gonna be okay to film inside here or shoot photography because we're not gonna get kicked out or something? My thought was, well, this is probably the most pho like photographed place in New York, maybe half the world. And I mean, the reason I asked was because I'm from England. We know, anyone who's from shoots in London knows how tight security are. You go to a place that's remotely private, you're kicked out immediately. But I think we're going to be all right here, as Carl said, because over there, there was like a hundred people. And over here. And over <laughs> here, yeah, and over yeah. here, taking photos of this. So uh, let's Turn. get some B-roll, let's get some photography, let's see what's up. Central Station. I can't believe my eyes are witnessing this. Me and Kyle are about to try and do like the myth to see if you can hear each other in the corner. So Kyle, you go to your corner, I'll go to my corner. Alright, let's give it a go. Kyle, can you hear me? Yep, can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> that is so weird. A big part of today's vlog is really just exploring as many different areas of New York as possible so I can find my footing really and just also see a lot of touristy spots. But with the photography, it can be hard to sometimes get different shots that aren't just your typical ones. I mean, for example, Grand Central right now, you get the typical angles because they're always the best angles. But it is always good as well just to walk around that same location and see if you can play with foreground, see if you can play around with different lenses rather than getting through it with a wide lens, get through it with like a 70 to 200. For example, right here, Kyle's got the 70 to 200 Mark II. Funny thing is, this might be the first time that this, like a zoom lens, has been pulled out in this building because this is notoriously a wide angle, wide -angle shot. shot. So I'm just like 
get your wide angles and then take out your zoom and get all the details. Details, detail shots are huge. Like, I bet you'll get a great shot of the clock. Yep. Right you know, there. that will be a great, so yeah, focus on those details as well as getting those wide as well. Basically, mix it up, play around. Final stops in today's video is gonna be the vessel. Look at that architecture right there. This is gonna be so good for photography. So I'm gonna start on the outside, get some nice wide shots of it using the 16 to 35, but then also switch to the 70 to 200 to get some detail shots, focus on specific areas of the building, and then get inside. Now I don't think you're allowed to go all the way to the top anymore, I think they've actually stopped that, but you can still go in at the bottom, and I reckon with the 16mm, uh, it'd be really good to get a nice wide shot looking all the way up. I mean, this area that I'm in right now, this is like look up central for photography. It's gonna be some really good shots. is it is so easy to get distracted for photography for video this city is just anywhere you look there's something new there's something spectacular for photography so i feel like i've been able to cover quite a lot of things in today's video because i've had to try and set myself time for each area so like spend an hour and a half here an hour here 30 minutes here just so i can try and cover as much as possible in this video show you around the the city get some really cool photographs to show you in this one but it is really hard to uh, manage that time because you could literally, I could have spent all day in Times Square. It's that good for photography. If you're thinking of coming to New York City to do street photography, to do video, do it. You will not regret it. It will be one of the best experiences you've had as a photographer. It's one of, if not actually, it's the best experience I've ever had as a street photographer. And I can't wait to start shooting some POVs as well. It's kind of mad that I'm filming this at night and I'm having to bump up the aperture because it is so bright. This is the best way of filming and vlogging in New York, just stand in front of a very bright light. So we are in the final photo spot, the final place for today's video. It is back at Times Square, but this time at night. I'm just looking at the monitor and I'm just seeing how crazy everything is looking behind me. The Boek, the lights everything is going to look so sick here it is a completely different change to seeing it in the day but i don't know which one i prefer i don't know if i prefer times square at night or in the day you're going to have to let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer i'm kind of in a difficult choice here because i don't know what lens to start with do i stick with a 24 do i go for the 85 or do i go for a zoom lens because there is enough light here to use something like the 70 to 200 as well i'm going to use them all but it's just difficult to know exactly where to start. I'm spoilt for choice. Really good position to be in. So I'm gonna get some final B-roll, some photography, some time lapses, and we'll end today's video on a high note.